Uh, first, it's the most crucial, I think, for this COP is the climate finance. Uh, that, that, that has been a huge issue that will determine how and when we are able to implement the, the Paris Agreement. It's, it will be a major sticking point. Even in emerging negotiations already, there are already talks about how you define developing countries, how you define developed countries, what priorities should they consider, who gets funds for emission, who gets funds for adaptation. But also for observers, we have huge role to play. I think at this time, this crucial moment where we're having the most important COP after Paris, it's quite crucial that observer organizations move from just being observers to even trying to lobby their way or to influence decisions. So we, we can't just sit down at the SBI or the, or the sub-style negotiations and just make our little intervention. We can also seek out bilaterals, multilaterals to speak to member states who, who are probably stumbling blocks to progress on negotiating items, to even speak to, to huge blocks like the EU, like the G77 in China, to know, uh, to, to put our priorities on their demand, to, to make them understand why this is important, why this is crucial, and why it wouldn't be a problem for their countries to even support this. I think we, we plant trees, uh, we, and, and earlier in the year we, we launched an ambitious afforestation project, the most ambitious afforestation project in the world, to plant a trillion trees in the next 12 years to mitigate climate change and reduce carbon emissions by 25%. How do we do this? We aim to achieve this by providing our platform, which is the Trillion Trees campaign platform, as a global commons where government, private sector, individuals, other organizations can use to plant their trees, track them, receive donations for planting, and be able to encourage others also to, to join. So it's It's easy to come here and read documents, but it's difficult to go and verify them and know if they are happening. So we need to put in place uh, strategies where we can easily verify what member states are doing. Are they doing exactly what they come here to chant that they are doing, or are they doing otherwise? That is quite crucial for me, because w without that, we, we are just going to come here every year and make pledges and read amazing NDCs with nothing happening on the ground. I think that is very crucial that is considered in the context of these negotiations. That will be very important going in uh, to, to 2020.